culinarians come along with me today as I make cookies in the kitchen in real life I'm making matcha cookies for my son because he asked me to and I don't have white chocolate chips so I'm trying something new I'm just gonna sprinkle some sea salt on top and let's see how it goes tomorrow come on Welcome to another episode of Cooking at Home with Belle LaFay. Today, I'm sharing something special. One of my personal favorite recipes that I actually make for my family. No tricks, no gimmicks, just real food from my kitchen to yours. I love baking and every recipe starts with precise measurements. For this one, we're going to talk about the essential tools I always keep handy, my measuring cups. When you measure flour, you want to use the right cup, the dry measuring cup. And here's a tip, make sure you level off the flour. I use a butter knife to scrape across the top. This helps keep the flour from being packed down, which could make your cookies dry or too dense. Today's recipe calls for some exciting ingredients. Baking soda for that perfect rise. Matcha powder for a unique earthy flavor. Sea salt to balance the sweetness. And almond extract for that rich, nutty aroma. Don't forget the stars of the show. Brown sugar and white sugar for sweetness. Butter for richness. And of course, eggs to bind everything together. I like to make the kitchen feel fun, like a fun space when I work. So I always put on some music. It really gets me into the groove and I'm not shy about doing a little dance while I bake. It just adds to the fun, don't you think? Do you like to play music while cooking? Let me know in the comments below. Unlike green tea, Matcha is made by grinding young tea leaves into a vibrant green powder, meaning you're consuming the entire leaf. This gives matcha a stronger, more concentrated flavor and boosts its nutritional benefits. Now the process of making this recipe took about 20 minutes, but if you want the quick version, my actual cooking video for this recipe is only three minutes long. The editing process makes everything look seamless, but trust me, there are plenty of steps behind the scenes, from setting up the camera to capturing those perfect angles. It takes some time, but it's worth it to bring you a smooth, engaging video. When it comes to cookies, there's an art to deciding whether you want them soft and chewy or crisp and crunchy. For soft cookies, I'll take them out just before they look done while the center is still a little underbaked. For crunchy cookies, I leave them in a little longer to get that golden crisp edge. You know, cooking at home has become such a special part of my routine. It's more than just making food. It's about the joy, the music, and even a little dance I do while I cook. Yep, I dance while cooking. It keeps the vibe fun, light, and honestly, who doesn't love a little kitchen groove? Does music get you going in the kitchen? Before we wrap it up, I'd love to hear from you. What's your favorite cookie flavor? Are you team soft cookie or crunchy cookie? Let me know in the comments.
Once I've scooped the dough onto my parchment paper lined cookie sheet, into the oven they go. And now for the best part, tasting the cookies. I can't have a cookie without a glass of milk. It's just the perfect combo, don't you think? And there's something so satisfying about that first bite of a warm, gooey cookie. If you're hungry for more recipes, be sure to check out my website where I've got plenty of delicious options waiting for you. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Keep your eyes peeled for the next video.